Fight News Australia here with Nadia Kasim. Nadia, it's been a while since you've fought in the Octagon. How excited are you to finally be in Fight Week? Oh, I'm so stoked to be here and obviously after a long layoff, um, I just can't wait to get back in there and put on a good show for everybody. Are you a little bit particularly more excited because you are on the pay-per-view? Oh, definitely. Being on the pay-per-view is a big thing for me. Um, I was starting my second fight in the UFC, so um, just to be on a card like this with big names is just awesome and it's great exposure for, of course, myself and Montana. Now, I understand you've had some injuries and that's been a part of the reason for the layoff. Are you able to tell me a bit about what's been going on? Yeah, so basically the injuries um, I incurred was uh, my hand, so I tore some tendons in my hand, cut it open, and also last year pulled out from the fight in Singapore because I had um, had a fall, so I injured my back. But um, now it's all good. I've been doing the physio, the chiro, and everything, so my therapy is going great, and I'm, I'm ready to go now. How did you hurt your hand? Um, let's just say post-accident rage. <laughs> I had a car accident, and then um, the guy had actually driven off, so I came out and I cracked my mirror. So that's kind of self-incurred again, but um, had to be done. So you're a real fighter at heart then, you just want to fight anything? Oh, unfortunately, that's why I've got this job, so I can keep it um, safe and legal, of course. Was this out in Western Sydney? It was, it was in Cabramatta, so the heart of it. So is this, is this a common occurrence, these sort of things out there, road rage? Yeah, road rage is always normal, but I've been trying to maintain myself and uh, keep it cool. Now how frustrating has it been with the injuries? Because obviously you, I'm sure you want to fight, that's how you make a living. How frustrating has it been having to work through all these problems? Uh, it was obviously like taking a toll on me. Um, I also coach, so I wasn't able to coach for quite a while. Um, but, you know, obviously like that long layoff from the injuries, I had time to think and reevaluate what I really want and this is what I want, so that's why I'm here. And outside of the UFC, you really... You know, you smash all your opponents. Yeah, I think it was four fights. It took only a couple of minutes to have a good three rounds in the octagon against Alex Chambers. How beneficial was that to your, you know, upskilling yourself? It was good to get that ring time. You know, a solid three rounds. Um, but I don't want to do that again. So now that I've had that experience, I'm ready to finish a quick fight this time again. And what do you make of Montana? Montana, she seems like a great fighter, skilled, but I just don't feel like she's anything different or special. So I'm here to just put it on her and see how it goes from there. And prediction? Fight prediction, which is definitely going to be a finish, first or second. Awesome. Thank you so much and good luck for Sunday.